Hi everyone. Just a little different video today uh, based on the other two that I've done speaking about your sanctuary. I thought I would address mail since we're all home getting our mail every single day now and there's of course some question as to how we should approach our mail just from um, a transfer of the virus perspective uh, versus our KonMari perspective. So uh, what I'm gonna show you is what I've actually adapted to most recently, which is when I get my mail, I actually will use these gloves that I actually have from my chiropractic office. And I will put these on before I actually even bring the mail in the house. And I will immediately actually go through the mail before I even really bring it upstairs. So I've already done that um, before I brought this mail up into my house. And um, what I do as always is I um, open things up that um, need to be filed and I will still open things up that I need to shred or I may also use um, this stamper um, that will um, actually stamp out your name and address and any um, information that you certainly don't want people knowing. So this is something that I use all the time. So I go through my mail and if it's, uh, for example, a bill, I will take the payment slip if it's not something that I pay online and I will keep it with the envelope to be filed. Um, if it's something that needs to be shredded or stamped, I will set that aside to be taken care of. And then it leaves me with uh, coupons and things like that. If I know I'm going to use them before the expiration date, I will hold on to them. Otherwise, they also go into the um, recycling or uh, to be shredded. Another bill. And more things that I need to shred or stamp the name and information out on. So I just kind of go through my mail um, you know, deciphering where things need to go and what needs to be addressed when. Now, another thing I also want to mention, especially now with the coronavirus, is the fact that we get all of these catalogs in the mail, which for the most part can be a lot of fun to look through, especially now that we're home, even if we might not be shopping. Sometimes it gives us inspiration. I suggest, and what I have learned to do is I will take a sanitizing um, wipe and I will wipe down the catalog um, and I'll just kind of leave it to dry and then once I'm you know done with that I kind of feel comfortable having them in my house and and allowing myself to look through them and of course leaving a specific time limit as to how long I'm gonna hold on to these catalogs um, for me I'll hold on to them for a week or two and if I have not looked through them then I will recycle them so once I've gone through my mail, I then have these magazine files. You can see them. And these I got on Amazon. And inside each of these files, I have another little folder. And so with the KonMari method, we talk about having um, an active file or an act now file. So in that would be, let's say, um, the bills that need to be paid or possibly um, an invitation to an event, although we probably won't be going to many, um, but that's your act now file, okay? So it's something that you need to address in the very near future. And perhaps the second folder is going to be um, things that we hold on to for a certain period of time. So maybe that will be um, a bank statement. So you're gonna hold on to that bank statement for the month and you're going to uh, go through your bank, um, register and you're gonna you know, 
get that squared away and then you can shred that information. Or perhaps this folder will also have things like our automobile insurance or our homeowner policies that we hold on to for maybe the next year until we get our new policy and then we can take that out and replace it with the new one. And the last folder or the last file box, it all depends on how you wanna store it, are going to be things that we hold on to for an indefinite amount of time. And those would be things like our wills or deeds to property, our passports, things that we would need to get um, you know, uh, easily and, and be able to find in an easy fashion. So um, that's one way of storing uh, those kinds of items. But it's real simple in the fact that you have all of your important papers in one location, in one filing system without over filing um, with like perhaps a file cabinet. Maybe some of the more important papers like a will, maybe you're going to keep it in a safety deposit box or if you have a hot box in your home or a small safe in your home, that's perfectly fine. But you get the idea that some papers will be held onto for an indefinite amount of time versus the other two categories that are only held onto temporarily. And of course, keeping your active file as, um, as, as small as possible because you're you know, actively working on completing those tasks. So I hope that this has helped you because I know we're all home now and we're starting to go through probably uh, piles and piles of papers that have added up over a great deal of time because going through papers takes time, a lot of time for some people. And always remember it's about keeping the level of papers that you feel comfortable with, but yet discarding as much as possible. So I hope that's helped. And please, again, I'm offering my help and my services to reach out and connect with me. I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to help spark some joy in your day today.